My name is Alicia and my business is Alicia's Infinity. I am a watercolor illustrator and stationery designer. I started Alicia's Infinity over 10 years ago actually and I called it that because I wasn't sure where I would go in my creative endeavor so I figured Alicia's Infinity can kind of encompass everything and it's evolved over the years but now it's really honed in on my illustration for companies and individuals uh, where I sell prints and I do custom artwork and then I use my artwork to design wedding invitations and stationery for couples. I think I've, I've always been inspired by nature and antiques. I mean, I live in an old house and I've always loved just the story that antiques tell. So I used to make jewelry with antique elements, which I really loved, um, but I just kept thinking about painting and that kept coming back into play. So I've been painting for my whole life and drawing, but I really love illustrating for people in their special moments. So either a house painting or a painting of their wedding dress and suit is so special. And then if I can paint something for their wedding stationery, it's just such a cool keepsake because I can paint whatever they want. So I painted flowers or I painted the venue of the wedding before if it's a special location and then they get to keep the painting and frame it for their wall so it's not just for their wedding it's for it's forever i started actually doing craft shows probably about 10 years ago uh, i was making jewelry at the time and i would make jewelry with vintage items like keys and buttons and lace and then i started my mom actually convinced me to start selling prints of my artwork, which coming from an illustration background, it was always more of an illustration for a purpose, like a corporate advertisement or for a product. So I never really pictured my artwork being frameable. But then when I started painting more botanicals and some animals, uh, people really were drawn to that. So my mom was right. and <laughs> uh, I. I appreciated her advice and I haven't turned back ever since and I actually don't make jewelry for shows anymore just for personal. I stopped selling the jewelry that I was making and transitioned into using my artwork on products so I now have pillows and tea towels and recipe cards and with my name Alicia's Infinity I can kind of keep introducing different products and it will fit under the umbrella of that. In terms of illustrating for companies, I actually got to work with Marks and Spencer on a biscuit tin that they sold in all of their stores in Europe, which was really exciting because I used to go to their store when it was in Canada growing up, and they actually found my teacup illustration online and asked to license that artwork. So it was sold in all of the stores there, which was really exciting. One of my more popular requests is my animal prints in either nurseries or kids' rooms because a lot of a lot of moms are having woodland animal themes or nature themes and I can actually customize the artwork with the baby or child's name. I'll paint that and put it with whatever animal they choose. Or I've done several birth announcements, so I'll put the baby's birth date and information on there. Um, I've had that given as shower gifts or the mom will get that after the baby's born. I think that I, I've always loved drawing and painting ever since I was a little girl. This is just always sort of what I've known that I wanted to do. Um, it just feels like I meant to do this. My name is Alicia Bint, my company is Alicia's Infinity, and I make things.